Hey guys. I'm Katie. And I'm Nick. And welcome to Katie and Nick Cook Stuff. And today for you, we have how to meal prep on a budget under 32 pounds for two people for five days in 45 minutes. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. So place. under 32 quid, took us 45 minutes to cook it all. Yeah. And this is five days worth of food for two people. A little Katie here is going to talk you through what we have going on. Okay, so yeah, so for the five days, we split it into three days and two days. So we've got the same breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack for three days, and then we've changed it up for the other two because it's pretty boring just eating the same thing all the time. So, breakfast, we have got protein yogurt and we've also got overnight oats. For our lunches, we have got tuna salad lunch boxes uh, for three days of the week, and then the other two days of the week, we've got our egg McMuffins with turkey sausages, which is one of my absolute favourites. Um, Nick's going to have wraps with those, but I'm just going to have them as is. And then for our dinners, so we have got chicken fajita lettuce wraps. And we've also got teriyaki chicken. We've also got a couple of snacks in there as well for the day. So we have got egg McMuffins for the snacks. And we've also got a Thai Asian chicken broth. So guys, all this was cooked in about 45 minutes, right? Look at the different variety of stuff that we've got going on. So it's not just, you know, whatever you eat for breakfast and then chicken and veg and rice for the remainder it's 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 a mix of flavors it keeps your diet exciting it keeps you eating things that you you know that you enjoy eating yeah and it's just a bit better than something bland like chicken and veg um with these meals guys remember one thing yeah these the way we're laid out today is suited to mine and katie's calories yeah so obviously i'm a lot bigger than katie so i'll eat more than katie yeah Bear that in mind when you're doing this. So what we did before this, guys, is we worked out our calories, how many calories we need to be on to reduce our body fat, maintain or increase mass, depending on our goals. Yeah. Um, George and I actually did a chat on this. So if you look in our YouTube videos, we've got how to work out your own calories. So that could help you guide it. And all it is, guys, is you're cooking the exact same food, but you're tweaking it slightly uh, with the portion sizes to fit in with your calories and your goals yeah yeah and also just importantly to mention as well because it's like when you are in a calorie deficit and you you've got low carbs to stay under um, and quite high protein uh, target to hit this is what we're on so all this meal prep is based around that so it's super high in protein um and also low in carb because that's what we're on yeah. So just um, little tricks to try and get protein into your diet. A, a lot of people struggle to get protein in the diet, especially the vast majority of my female clients. They always struggle to get protein into the diets. Everything we have got laid out here is high in protein. You will not struggle. If anything, you'll be going over your markers, yeah? Which isn't an issue, but you'll be getting in a lot of protein via this, this meal prep. Right, guys, in the description below, there's a shopping list and also an equipment list that you need, yeah? So make sure you go into the description there and check that out. The all, so what we're gonna do next, guys, is we're gonna nip to Asda, we're gonna do a little shop, we're gonna take you around with us, and then we're gonna go into the cook, guys. So stay with it, it's easy to follow. You can literally have your phone on the side and follow along while we're cooking, yeah? Or you can watch it and save it for later, guys. But we hope you enjoy. See you in Asda. So here we are guys at Asda, ready to do the big shop. Are you ready little Katie? I'm ready, have you got the carrier bags? I've got the carrier bags. Have you got your pound? I've got the carrier bags, I've got the pound for the trolley. No, you haven't. Right, let's go and get it gang. I've got <laughs> Katie, what are these for? Peed on the floor. <laughs>
Here we are guys, we've made it to the end. Hey, where did them come from? <laughs> right gang, that is the shop done. Five days worth of food, two people, under 32 quid. Let's get in the kitchen and cook this. You know what I'm saying, little Katie? Let's get it done. Right, so it is time for the fun bit. Cooking. <laughs> okay, yeah, so all of our ingredients are here for our five day meal prep. Um, Room chocolate. Yes. So um, we're going to stick to a strict 45 minutes cook time. Yeah, so very right. organised, very precise. I have a plan in my, in my head. Um, I know I'm not great at communicating it, so I'm going to do my best. Right, guys, so if you're watching this at home, we're going to do it so you can follow along with us, guys. So you see us go around Asda, you see us do the shop. We've showed you in the intro what we've got, what you're going to get out of it. Right, guys, so going into this cook, this is going to be easy to follow, follow along. And boom, get it smashed out. 45 minutes. Right, get your timers off. Are we ready? Okay, three, three two, two, one. one. Boom, shakalaka. Go! That's right, it. okay. So, we're going to start with our egg muffins and sausages. So, what we need is bacon. We're going to fry the bacon off. Well, I'm going to fry the bacon off. It's a small saucepan. Nice, hot heat, so about seven or eight. Whilst I'm doing that, Nick's going to get the mixture together, so... I'm going to crack eggs, because that's my speciality. I am Master Chief Egg Cracker. Yeah, come on. All I'm going to do is chop the bacon medallions up. How many eggs will do? And we're going to double it up, so you're going to do 12. Yeah. But yeah, so <laughs> all he's doing is whisking those 12 eggs together. The oven is on 190, and we are good to go. Good. Come on, come on. Rocking it so out. Oh, I'm going to put that on your head for a minute, if you're not careful. Yeah, so we're going to be making two batches of these uh, egg muffins all together. So prep them all together in one pot, dead easy, half the mixture. In as soon as that mixture is cooked and out, whack the other half in. So, guys, another thing as well, just remember <laughs> if you are cooking with anything, uh, white oh shit on it, sugar. Ah, oh, flip a dick. <laughs> so, guys, remember if you're cooking with oil, butter, um, one cal fry spray, one cal spray 20 times, it's 20 calories. Remember that, yeah, right? So Whatever you're using, if you put a condiment with this, like red sauce or anything like that, remember to add it to your diet plan or to your to your meal plan, sorry, to your, your diet diary. Yeah, because anything that crosses these lips costs these hips, yeah? Do you like that? <laughs> I thought it was a moment on the lips, a lifetime on the hips. Is that yeah. what I'm saying? Well, I've just made a new one up. I like it. You told me something new. Yeah. I like it. I just made that up on the spot. <laughs> Very, very. Oh, that's not very stinky. No, you are. With them little worms, I don't think so. <laughs> okay. Well, that just hurt my feelings. Oh, I'm just teasing you. Oh, shit, I'm just dropping another bit of egg in there. It's alright, don't panic. No panicking in the kitchen. Right, so this bacon is just starting to fry off, so we're going to add that into the egg mixture. Let me get you to mix that up with. There you go. Get this out of the way. Oh my days. <laughs> oh, oh, that was nearly an accident. <laughs> so gang, before uh, we actually went into this cook, Katie and I did a little practice run to see how things would go. And let me tell you, the practice run was a pretty good job of practicing. Because anything that could go wrong did. We had oats spilt on the hot hob. We had, we had plastic melting to stuff. Yeah, so. It's a little dramatic. Yeah, yeah. No, it was like that. 
Yeah, yeah, just remember nothing's perfect, yeah? Yeah. Where is the pepper? Okay, so <clears throat> as soon as that egg mixture's finished, all you need is muffin tin. Grease it, so again, spray if you want. If you're using a bit of oil, just get your fingers to pull it around. There you go, take the last. Prepared. And then <clears throat> we're going to use turkey sausages with these. So I tend to use the Alta turkey sausages rather than pork sausages just because they're usually higher in protein and lower in fat as well. Honestly, guys, you cannot taste the difference. If I served you these rather than pork sausages and you didn't know. Look, I'm a big pork, I'm a big pork sausage fan. Yeah. I am a massive pork, pork sausage fan. Everything. And I'll be honest with you. You, you, you can't really tell the difference. You, you, you can't. No. So yeah, try and get the turkey ones if you can. Um, all we're going to do is dip these in the oven for about 15 minutes. So I've just popped a little bit of that grease, um, coconut grease in the pan so they don't stick. Whack them in. Don't need to be pretty with this. I don't know why, but I don't... We're five minutes down. Oh, okay. It's all right. Stop panicking, Katie. I'm not panicking. Calm down, Katie. I'm not panicking. Okay, sausages in. Um, no, you're incorrect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, sugar. Sugar lumps. Right, that looks like a nice even spread. Right, I'm going to whack these sausages in because yeah, they're nearly about yeah, to yeah. go in. So guys, it's important that you get the sausages in first, yeah? The sausages probably take one of the longest things to cook, yeah? So, get your bangers in there. They take about 20, 25 minutes in the oven. So it's important that you get those in. Your bangers? Bangers, get bangers in the oven, yeah? Yorkshire? Is that Yorkshire? Yeah. I'm going to drop a little bit of spinach. Okie dokie, so we're just going to put a few little pieces of the bacon on top of it. <coughs> just, just sprinkle it on. And then into the... Do you want to start prepping the next thing going on with this? Yeah, Go. okay, cool. Okay, so next. We're going to move on to our breakfast boxes. So we've got overnight oats and we have also got yogurt. So what I'm going to do is pull this away one second. Okay, so oats, we're going to need to measure these out. So grab yourselves a pair of scales. Just oh, Nearly. <laughs> Um, These unruly oats. I told you, it's the way that you've cut the, it's the way you cut the bag. Guys, if you're going to open your bag of oats, cut the end of it. Because if you try and rip it, it goes everywhere. You don't know where the rip's going. And look, nearly had another incident there, didn't we? No. This is what I'm in charge, gang. So yeah. dramatic. All the time. Right. So, as to oats. A kilogram, 75 or 76p, really, really cheap. So we've got three days where we're going to have oats for breakfast. So I've got three small pots because I'm having less than Nick. So I'm going to put 30 grams of oats. Again, must measure this out, okay? 
30 grams of oats into this little pot. So again, the egg muffins have gone into the oven and they're going to be in there for about 10 to 12 minutes, yeah? Once they're done, I'll pull them out, chuck them into a pot, yeah? And I'm going to put another serving in there, yeah? So we've got enough. So remember guys, all this meal prep is for two people. It's meal prep under 32 quid, two people, everything that we need for five days, yeah? Um, obviously, if there's two people, you might find it's a little bit... Um, hard to cook with two people so maybe you know someone gets in your way quite a lot yeah. do you know what I mean look what you're doing look what you've done she throws oats all over the oven uh, all over the hob she throws Tupperware tubs in the box I just can't work like this <laughs> <laughs> okay can you please get rid of that bacon yeah I'm gonna, that's what, that was what I was going to do so, so I'm doing this because I was going to do it now because you told me to do it okay <laughs> okay Right, so you're going to have 60 grams, so that's going to be 70, six. So yeah, another thing as well, just because you, if you're cooking for two people, just because you were the halves having, uh, say, 60 grams of oats, doesn't mean that you need to. I have made this mistake too many times. I seem to eat the same portion sizes of Nick, and it just all goes wrong. So make sure you stick to your own measurements, okay? 76. Nearly there. Okay. Right. Do we need this one again? No. For sure? Yeah. Okay. So that bacon is now on the side to go back into the, the doobie bobs, right, good, pass me. Into the doobie bobs. Pass me. <coughs> okay. So, what you're going to do now, because I um, want extra protein in mine, I'm going to add protein powder to them. You don't have to, you can just stick to oat and milk, uh, but we like to add protein powder in. So. In my pots, you're going to add one scoop of protein powder and you're going to add one scoop of protein powder into your pots as well, okay? Yeah. About 25 grams. And you get these out of the way. Okay. So while it's next doing that, I'm going to move on to the yogurt pot. So we've got our total zero phase or fahe is this perfect now. It's fudge. Let me make sure it's not pronounced fudge. But <laughs> you can call it fudge if you oh. want. And that's why I do it over the sink and not <laughs> over the hob. Well, if I was on that side, I probably would. Okay, so. Can I pop this in the pot? Okay, so in a bowl, so this is a kilogram of um, yogurt. We're using this for two days, and we're gonna have 200 grams in each uh, pot, so we only need 800 uh, grams of this. I mean, these jars are very cool and very edgy, but they are a nightmare to put protein into. <laughs> The bloody protein thing doesn't fit into it. Yeah, it's a bit hard. Okay, so we've still got a little bit of yogurt left, which I will use throughout the week for as a mayonnaise substitute. Put some pepper in it. <coughs> okay. So this is going to be four. Right, how much milk am I adding to these, Katie? So you need to double it. So if you've got 60 grams of oats, double the milk. So it'll be 120 grams of milk 
Yeah? yeah. So 120 in yours and then 60 in mine. It's usually okay. just to the top of the jar. Okay. Okay. So I've got my yogurt. If you want to have it plain, have it plain. But I personally like to add a little bit of flavour to it. So I just use um, the My Protein Flavour Drops. No calories. Just add a few drops um, and it completely changes the flavour. I usually use the toffee flavour. But um, I'm kind of on this peach flavour at the moment. I really like it. It's a bit more summery. So I'm going to add a few drops of that in there. Just makes it a bit more exciting rather than plain yoghurt. Um, plus you like peach, don't you? Yeah. Oh, give it a good mix. Uh, the, to the toffee is the best one. Yeah, the toffee is awesome. You can use it for like desserts and everything. But it's really important, so with these yoghurt pots guys, I'm using that brand of yoghurt for a reason. It's super low in calories, really low in carbs. So for 100 grams of that yoghurt, four grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein, yeah? So each of these breakfasts is gonna be 20 grams of protein. So it's really important that you, you look at the labels. If you can't get that yoghurt, use Greek, not Greek style, it has to be Greek, okay? Um, are you putting berries in these? Yeah. As soon as you've got your milk in, um, got them all mixed up, you're going to add some berries. So while it's mixed, just finishing off adding the milk in, all you're going to do with this yogurt, 200 grams in each on tuna. So I would Weigh this out just to make sure that I do this all the time so I can pretty much tell my eye on how much I'm putting in. So I'm smart like that. How are we on time? <gasps> 29 minutes. Okay. Not bad. Easy. Some serious concentration here, again. Serious. I know I don't think I'm allergic to so Simon. You must be concentrating on that. Boom, there it is. Okay, so that is two days of breakfasts for each of us. So again, 20 grams of protein per pot, yeah? So a lot of people, guys, especially uh, ladies that uh, I've trained in the past, always struggle to get the protein. These recipes that we're showing you here, guys, are really high protein, right? Great recipes to get into your meal plans. Right, we're gonna whack these in the fridge. Yeah. They do, they do, they do look cute, Katie. They do. However, they are not practical at all. They're not what? Not practical at all. I don't even know how many it's in. You don't need to. Just, I like when I, so I'll leave it to settle, and then I, when I bring it out of the fridge, I give it a mix. Oh, is that all you want me to do? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so our frozen raspberries. I don't want any on my oats. Um, but you like them on yours, don't you? I absolutely love them. They do, they do go really nice. I just don't particularly want any on my oats because I'm trying to... I reckon raspberry is my favourite fruit. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. I, I, actually, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of berries. I, I love berries. What about kiwi? Yeah. Interesting fact about the kiwi as well. Yeah. I eat my kiwi with the skin off. Yeah. You are you eat the cores of apples as well, which I find a bit weird. Well, it's it's just there. Do you know what I mean? Just going into this bag. <laughs> Don't put it on the hob, please. <laughs> so guys, that is one set of eggs done, yeah. <laughs> Look at them bad boys. Oh yeah. Okay, so my pots are done. Nick has gone. 
got his pots here, so I'm just going to add a few berries on top of them. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. Do you want to get onto the, the chicken? Yeah, I just need this out of the way before I get onto the chicken, so finish this. Just one thing, and yeah, then on to the next. Can you do the chicken here? I need to make this room here. So, just a few frozen berries on the top. They defrost in the fridge, so they're really nice when you bring them out there. Morning. And a glass. So we've got the yogurt in the fridge, three protein oats for Nick, and three for me going in the fridge. Now, these guys are, are probably my favourite thing that we're cooking right now. These egg muffins. He eats so many of these. Oh, the high protein, the good for snacks. We've actually got a video just individually on how to make these if you want to go and watch it guys. I'll put the uh, link in the description below just in case you'll see it. But for me, in terms of getting your protein in, in terms of just a nice little snack, they're just so good. Yeah. If you're a veggie, you can replace the bacon for like pepper, feta, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Um, if you're a vegan, I don't really know what to suggest. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't okay. enjoy don't don't enjoy them. Ooh, sorry. Right, so next we're gonna prep the three chicken dishes, okay? So I'm gonna start by just turning the slow cooker on. We want it on a medium to high heat. That is gonna be for our chicken Asian style broth. Guys, if you don't have a slow cooker, like we said in the introduction. Yeah, you can always use a pot, uh, not a pot, a big saucepan, fill it and put it on a low heat, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've got my pack of chilies here. So I'm just putting this and Nick's going to put it together in the, uh, in the slow cooker. You want to have yeah. a second batch in there? Yeah. Okay, so just re-spread the oil. Yeah, I know. I'm bloody okay. All right, just checking. That's all. Just give it down. You haven't got to check on me. I'm going to check on you. Okay. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, today you do actually have to check on me, but you're not burning them off down. Okay. <laughs> Eat one of them chilies. <laughs> Go on, it's your turn this time. I, I ate them last time. No. Get back to your eggs. Awesome. Okay, slow cooker is on. So two chilies chopped up. Whack them in. You've got your lemongrass. So we've just got the easy lemongrass paste here. If you've got fresh lemongrass, that's fine as well. Just gonna put, so you want one lemongrass stalk, stem chopped up or you can whack it and hold this out, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to put about two thirds of a teaspoon of the paste in. Yeah. Stick that in. And then, sorry, my dear. Now, so this isn't on the shopping list, but it's a store cupboard uh, item that you will have. Hence why you need to buy more. So all you need is a chicken stock cube, yeah? So you've got chilli, lemongrass, and one chicken stock cube, if I can get this open. Guys, we make them so fiddly. Oh. Okay. 21 minutes, 45 seconds. Easy. Yes. Easy peasy, we might even have time for a break. Okay, stock cube in. <coughs> Right, so you're going to open one pack of your chicken. So here, I've got two packs of 650 grams, okay? So we're going to use 
So that's 1.3 kilos. Uh, yeah. Quick maths. Yeah. Right. So we're going to use 200 grams um, to go into our slow cooker. Okay. So we just need to measure it out. Guys, if you really want to be conscious, uh, sorry, if you're really conscious of your diet and you really want to, you know, take it somewhere, whether you're putting on mass, whether you're looking to maintain, or whether you're looking to reduce body fat, these scales are so important. Remember one thing, guys, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. If you don't know what you're putting into your food, rough guessing isn't good enough, because if you're looking to reduce body fat and you think, yeah, do you know what? That looks about right, and you throw it in, what you could have is double the amount of calories of what you thought you had. So yeah. guys, it's important that you actually measure your food out. Okay, 200 grams of chicken going in. And then, <coughs> all I'm gonna do now is cover that with water. So you just want to cover the top of the chicken. So you've got enough water in there, because so, this is a broth, yeah? It's not like a thick stew, it is a broth. There's Guys, second lot of muffins going in. Whoop. I'm going to add a little bit more. So that chicken breast isn't covered. Okay, that's covered. Okay, top one. That's probably going to take about four hours to cook, yeah? So you just leave that to one side. That's cooking off. Great. Give this a bit wide. Yes! Yay! Just, 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 just. Are we winning? Yes! Right, so <clears throat> I'm going to start getting the ingredients ready for the fajitas and the teriyaki chicken. Thank you. Uh, whilst I'm doing that, Nick is going to get the sausages out of the oven. Yeah. They should be done now. Yeah. And he's. A couple more minutes, go on. Oh, is it? Yeah, go on. Right, okay. Uh, so. What I need to do is chop the veg for the fajitas and the sticky chicken. So you've got your three onions here, so we want those chopped. Up, peeled and chopped just roughly. We need two for the fajitas and then one's going to go for the sticky chicken. Okay. 18 minutes, Cab. Okay. I call her Cab because her name's Katie Allison Brooke and I like to abbreviate it into Cab. Right, whilst I'm yeah, go on. doing this, I just need you to keep an eye on the sausages and get them boxed up for me. Yep. Yeah? Yep. So the sausages and egg muffins are going to be two days of, of our lunches, yeah? So we're going to have two sausages each and two egg muffins each in our box. Nick is also going to have a one of the Weight Watchers wrapped in there. Because he's massive. Because he's massive and he needs a bit more. Dirt. 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 Okay. What's next? I, What's just, the... I just need you to keep an eye on the sausages yeah, yeah. and then box it. Up. There's nothing you can do at the moment. <laughs> so I just stand in the corner like a good boy? Uh, Sounds like a good boy. <coughs> yes. Shall I spray the pans? Yeah. Again, turn it in one calorie spray into 20 calorie spray. See, I let Katie cut the onions because I don't know where my swimming goggles are. Hey, you're going to put it from the back. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of a little bit. Just cry 
over the food. Man up. Do you know what I want to leave them sausages just a little bit longer just for the I like my sausages a little bit crisped off guys yeah okay right so two onions one pepper start to fry those with the heaters yeah. and then in your other pan we're gonna put one onion and a few chilies Near that. Just okay. under 16 minutes. I feel like I'm on can't put roll cook. <laughs> I know which one I do. I'd be. You're a bloody good cook. I mean, not from the events of this morning. <laughs> you'd be well cooked. in them yeah and slightly lower calories than the their pork equivalent Gang, what do you reckon to the beard? 
On a serious note, you know one thing though? I'm actually half Indian. So I'm half tikka masala, half bangers and mash, yeah? My beard's ginger, work that out. Right, so all our chicken dishes are on. So all you do is add the fajita spice mix now. Add the fajita spice mix. Turn it down a little bit. Yeah, so one packet of fajita spice mix. Yes. Yeah. Let's put the lid on. Okay, wash it in the chicken. Do you put water in or not? Eh? No. No. I like it dry. Really? Yeah. If you want to put water in, put it in. But I personally like it dry. Okay. Sorry. So guys, if you like it with a little bit of moisture, put in some water. It seems like this batch of meal for it. I'm eating it dry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Again, store cupboard, cupboard items, so we want to put these on the shopping list, but you'll have to move uh, cupboard. So two tablespoons of honey. Yum. And then two, uh, sorry, four tablespoons of soy sauce. One, two, three, four. Nice. Give that the mix. Boom, second lot of them. Really? Mm. Okay, yeah. Look at that gang. Oh. Oh, get a little beauty. Okay, so now to the um, Asian chicken, I'm just going to add the one. Um. I'm going to add the mange too. So a pack of mange too. I'm going to grab it in there. Perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna let that cook off for about five, six minutes. And we're also gonna throw two big handfuls of spinach in. Because we have lots. And just sit that on top and it'll cook down. So you can see how good it's going. Perfect. Give me that one, that one then. Okay. So for the fajita chicken, 
we are going to use our iceberg lettuce as shahita wraps. Nick, obviously because he needs a little bit more carbs than me, um, he is going to have one of these wraps in each of his box, but I'm just having the lettuce, okay? So again, it's just sticking to what you need and not what your partner needs. Yeah, that's very important that is, guys. Very, very important. Look at the size of Katie compared to me. Katie is literally half my weight, yeah? If Katie eats what I eat, you know what's gonna happen there, yeah? It's not good for Katie, yeah? So it's important that you work on your own individual. So everything that we're cooking here, guys, like we said in the intro, everything that we're cooking can be modified with its portion size, yeah? To be made perfect for you, yeah? yeah. So it's important that you work out your calories, yeah? Or, I don't know, whether you already have a PT and he's set you a calorie target, yeah? To work within those calories and those macros, there's many calculators online that you can work out yourself or check out how to work out your own calories. Um, George and I actually put up a video um, oh, yeah. where you can work out your own, a way to work out your own calories. But once you have that, guys, it's then making this food, sitting down, planning exactly how much you need, yeah? To then, to then um, make it fit your calories. It's important that you do that, gang, yeah? Really important. Oh, look at these little badges. So I've just got three lettuce wraps in my boxes. Nick's just going to have the chicken in his box and take his wraps separate. Okay, right, so with the rest of the iceberg lettuce. Four minutes. Yeah, with the rest of the iceberg lettuce, I'm just going to chop it up and we're, this is going to be for our tuna lunch boxes, okay? So chop it up, nice and fine, like that. So guys, we're coming up to three and a half minutes. So the slow cooker is still going, yeah? All right, we obviously take, we took that into account. Now, the great thing about a slow cooker, you throw the ingredients in and you let, you just let it do its thing, yeah? You come back later and you pot it up, yeah? But it's important, guys, you just let that carry on. And with this, this is the main, obviously, bulk of the work. But to be able to nip out to us to get your stuff, come back, Cook everything up in 45 minutes and be done for the week is, is mega, yeah. you know? And to be able to do it all in under 32 quid for two people, it's, do you know what I mean? It, it just shows you what you can do yeah. if you sit there and you actually plan your meals and what you want to eat. Um, and obviously, we've got a lot of variety here, guys. We're not just eating chicken and veg, <laughs> yeah, or fish and a rice cake. <laughs> So I don't know if anyone's seen the video of the guy who eats fish and rice cake eight times a day, but oh it's God. about 10 or 12 years old, I think, but Kate actually saw it for the first time <laughs> the other night. I showed it to her, and she, uh, she couldn't believe it. Fish and rice cake. But the guy now is in absolutely ridiculous shape. He's done well. Right, two minutes. So, I just need to grab this tin opener. And so that's the heater. Yeah. Nick is going to go between those six boxes, yeah? These six, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I just want the tuna. Oh, no. No, the tuna. Oh. And then you are a bit silly, isn't it? Oh, this literally is going to be a race against the clock. <laughs> Look this. When that minute comes on, guys, you'll see the countdown timer in the screen. Can we do it? Maybe, maybe invest 
few more pennies into the fridge pots, just pop them straight off. You're in a real rush. Okay, tins of tuna. So all we've got in the boxes is iceberg lettuce, cucumber, and then I'm going to have half a tin of tuna in each of my three, and Nick's going to have two thirds of a can of tuna in his. Again, a really, really high protein lunch and zero. Oh, are we going to make it, darling? Yeah. Here we go. Last minute coming in. Oh. Rawr. Just what, where's, where's that sticky chicken going? That's going in another four pots. Yeah. Have we got four pots? Ah, uh, there's some more in the Because I burned the pot earlier, isn't it? Yes. Believe me. Oh, okay. 30 seconds, come on. Whoosh. It might not look pretty. 25 seconds. Keep going, chads. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Three, oh, two, no. one. Oh. Oh. Right, guys. We just missed out on the 45 minute marker, yeah? <laughs> I'll be honest with you, Katie and I did that, right? To see if we could actually get this meal prep done in 45 minutes. Although it's not quite been 45 minutes, yeah? We have dilly dallied a little bit in the middle and- You dilly dallied. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll blame you to be honest with you. I think if it was on my own, I could have done it, but, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not joking. No, but guys, you can see there, the meal prep is pretty much done, yeah? Yeah. The meal prep is pretty much done and that has all been within 45 minutes. And 32 quid. And 32 spondoolies. Two people, 32 quid. Boom. Okay. So there you go guys, yeah, um, whatever you do, don't put it on the hob, Katie, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say no more. Okay. So there you go guys, as you can see, right, got a lot of variety, yeah, a lot going on here, yeah, it's not just boring chicken and veg meal prep for the next foreseeable future, yeah, it's actual nice meal prep, yeah, nice different flavours. Good different flavours. Guys, if you look at the descriptions in the box, each each bit of food will have its own nutritional value to it. Yeah. Remember you can change that by adding or taking away more stuff, yeah? Right guys. Just eat but, but, but look at all that. 32 quid and we've still got the broth in the hot pot, yeah? But thank you for stopping by guys. We hope that you use this and it helps in your own meal prep and you get benefit from it guys because that's why we do this yeah that you get benefit from it yeah so have you got anything else to add katie uh no good luck in beating our time she's panicked you're just panicked. panicked she's panicked right gang on that bombshell we love you loads take care bye bye, bye.